but I'm very pleased uh, to be here again. And uh, I'm very, I think this is a wonderful program that is going on here uh, in all this uh, very advanced understanding and concern for education, which I take, I'm an educator myself and I take this to be fundamental. Um, and and what uh, Professor uh, Celestra mentioned uh, about the uh, uh, education for global citizenship, I think is very important because people need to begin thinking in this global way if we're going to deal with the sustainable development problems or any other uh, global problems like uh, removal of nuclear war, war possibilities and uh, demilitarizing the nations and so on the the uh the wcpa uh as professor telesra mentioned is holding the next session of the provisional world parliament in uh it looks like it will be in new delhi in december beginning on human rights day december 10th and uh uh that of course depends on the pandemic and whether or not it will be possible but we're in touch with uh the the governmental leaders in india we've been in touch with all the consulates uh, uh from the different countries that are in delhi and uh, we've been in touch with uh, the prime minister's office and the president's office uh and we're we're trying to get the government of India to uh, understand the immense connection between the WCPA and India that goes way back into the 1950s. Right? In the 1950s, we were collaborating with Sri Aurobindo's organization called World Union that was working for world government. And uh, in fact, A.B. Patel, who was General Secretary of World Union was also uh, co-president of WCPA at that time. Uh, and we have, ha of the 14 sessions of the Provisional World Parliament, we've held seven of them in various cities in India, in Chennai, in Lucknow, in Kolkata, uh, in New Delhi, and so on. So this would be our second time in New Delhi. And as you all know, the government of India is concern uh, with the United Nations. It is, uh, uh, it is pushing to make, get India recognized as another member, permanent member of the Security Council. India, this huge democracy in this world, uh, has been, was excluded from the Security Council because it was not, of course, one of the uh, five main victors in the Second World War. But, but India, from the very beginning, as uh, Professor Murthy has pointed out uh, from his research, uh, who's on this call, uh, uh, from the very beginning, India was thinking in terms of a world parliament. There are, when the United Nations was created in San Francisco, the Indian delegation was talking about a world parliament, was talking about a federation of earth. And, uh, and uh, WCPA has been working with that vision ever since the 1950s, much of it in, within India itself, because India uh, is the culturally, intellectually, uh, and uh, in terms of geography, in terms of its uh, dimensions of its huge, uh, population. India is a core place for that vision of Vaishudeva Kudumbakam, the world is one family. So I, I uh, very much uh, appreciate th these educational initiatives uh, and this concern for uh, 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 world citizenship, the, the education of people to, to be not simply uh, people of their own country, but, but people of the world. And uh, the Earth Constitution, of course, institutionalizes that idea and brings it forward toward a world of, uh, of genuine peace with justice, uh, which takes away the right of the nations to uh, limitless, limitlessly militarize and limitlessly 
fight with themselves without with no uh, forcible law over themselves. So if we want sustainability, if we want the UN Sustainable Development Goals to really be actualized, the, the UN system itself must be uh, supplemented, replaced by a genuine constitution for the earth. And in India, in these educational initiatives that are coming from India, are, I think are very fundamental to this entire process. So, so I just wanted to thank you all again for the, these wonderful uh, events that are being organized. I'm sorry I cannot stay with you today, but I have many obligations going on today. Uh, but I, uh, I, I want to thank you for your, all your hard work and your scholarship uh, and uh, I'll, I'll give you the best, my blessings for this conference. Thank you all very much.